Right, another EICR, another one. Um, uh, this is for a shop that's being sold, or it used to be a pharmacy that's being sold. Um, immediately I can see 100 milliamp RCD. Looks like it does sockets and stuff. Um, I've had a little look around. I don't know if you guys want to see any more ICRs. I'm surprised I get so many because uh, I'm not like a drive-by EICR spark. I actually take my time and and um, like quote them properly and adequately and do it thoroughly. So I'm amazed I get them. So do you want to see them? Do you not? Or should I just do a super quick one? <laughs> Found a few things already, just walking around with my inspections. This, for example, looks like someone's, I don't know if that's a ring or not, but they made a little <laughs> extension lead um, from a floor socket. Um, I'm using Electroform today on this one. Like I use, um, they, I use Electroform and Easy Sir. They both have their advantages and disadvantages. Um, but on this particular one, I particularly like Electroform um, for EICRs. It's very like uh, user friendly and uh, and like end user friendly. Sorry, very very um, yeah, end user friendly. Uh, oh, I wasn't expecting it to look that good. <laughs> I thought it would look like a. It's not that bad. Let's crack on. Right, I just uh, killed the power, did a ZE, and I got 0 0.25, I think it was, in the end, 0 0.25. Yeah, 0 0.25, and I've just done the RCD uh, test, 100 milliamp, and it passed, and it felt good as well. It was a proper good clunk, do you know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? <laughs> when you get a nice RCD, nice big end, nice good clunk, yeah, well within permitted values. Um, so I've written that down, so now I'll go through each circuit. I've got a rough idea of what they do. Looks like someone left a one from last time. So I have typed up what, what, what I can see on here, but obviously I'll verify and confirm that when I go round. But yeah. Do you want to see more? Or not? Right, so I was getting um, a dead short between line and CPC on this ring circuit. But now, hopefully, let's lock that on a minute. So, and then this one. And that was purely because <clears throat> Someone's obviously done some work in here, knowing that it's a 100 milliamp RCD up front, and they put in a little 30 milliamp uh, integral socket. So I just pulled out the line out of that socket, and then obviously, because all the funny business inside um, affects our reading. So by pulling out the line, that's now given me hmm, solid good reason, uh, reading. Sorry. All right, on to the next circuit. I did my manage to line and line and neutral there. I managed to find let's turn that on, lock it. I managed to find everything plugged in or connected. We've got a fantastic reading. So I'll pop that down. I've just disconnected that heater from that fuse spur. I would read with the client, although the client has given me authorization that anything that needs repairing, just repair or disconnect or whatever makes it because they're selling it. So I've also, this ropey connection on the shop floor um, with a couple of crack sockets, I'm just going to disconnect it. I'm going to do my ring final from here, my ring final test and stuff, but I'm going to disconnect it, put some wagons on it to link it through and put a blank plate on, along with a few other little bits and bobs. And obviously the board, it's going to get upgraded, not today, but um, maybe later on in the week. Um, but any little things, yeah, they've given me authorization to just um, 
like disconnect or make safe, you know. Right, I'm just doing our one or two on this uh, circuit number two, which is the uh, shop front sockets. I'll just quickly show you line to CPC, pretty much a dead short. And I was thinking, what the f it's only five sockets. And I realized I've still got my laptop plugged in, although there's no power to it, I've still got it plugged in. Um, so if I unplug that. We do line to CPC insulation resistance test. Should be clear. Yeah. It's so important. I, I know it's difficult on some installs. You can't always disconnect absolutely everything. But if you can, I mean, that was me being a look. But it just shows like even little things like that. Not even on um, just my laptop through your result. And then I know what will happen is that you'll just go, oh, lim, 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 lim. But just in case of a few seconds. Try and unplug as much as you can. In fact, actually, I'll do line and neutral now. Actually, before I do that, line to neutral. Smashing. Over the top or not? Would you have limbed that? Yeah, it wasn't that much of a struggle with the right tools. You know, the place is empty. I allowed enough time to do I always allow enough time on the ICRs to, to do it um, properly. Um, 0.22 was my uh, reading, so I'll whip that back on. Well, actually, no, I'll do, I do uh, insulation resistance first, and I'll pop it back on. But, uh, yeah, would you have done that? I mean, it's pretty tight. It wasn't the easiest, but it's not unachievable, you know. Check this out, <coughs> right? I'm doing the, the R102 of the main shop lights, right? And I go to get this, <laughs> this light down. Check out this, uh, I, he's either like a hero or a Look at that. So, obviously a couple of lamps have gone. A couple of like, lamps have gone and the guy has fitted, looks like under counter kitchen lights. self tapped them to the 1200 by 600 light fitting. One, two, three, four, four of them. And then just boshed, boshed them all in some Wagos. Rather than fix or repair the light, gone and bought some under counter lights and fixed them. What do you reckon? Hero or cowboy? Basically, what's happened is I started all keen this morning and now I can't be f***ed. So what you'll probably get is a f pictures and videos later on of the test. Because I gotta crack on. I was all keen this morning. <laughs> right, I'm packed up, pretty much done. There was a little second consumer in the back there above the ceiling, which I've uh, tested as well, but there's only two ways. One for, I think it was six sockets in there and one for lights. Last thing I'll do is the um, earth leakage test. And let's pop it down there. Wow, that's a lot. And all of that is hanging off of that 100 milliamp RCD. Let's see what it might be. Out of interest, that one there, and that was pretty much most of the most of the shop lights that had most of the leakage on. That's all these old oh, one, two, six, seven fluorescent lights. Yeah. Looks like the rest of it is on the other, the other lighting circuit, really. There's a little bit across the others, but primarily that one. The two lighting circuits are carrying the most of the leakage, with all the others off. I did have an idea earlier, as I was 
performing a functional test on a couple of the few spurs that fed um, water heaters and you know, there was a fridge and stuff at the back. It was operating the RCD. And I thought, well, I, I, you know, the results were coming back good, like the actual um, circuits, the conductors. So um, I had an idea that there might be some kind of leakage. I didn't know it was going to be that much. Even I'm surprised by that. But um, so it's an, an accumulation has caused, since I've been here, as I've been turning off and on things, the RCD has randomly been um, operating. But it's probably due to that leakage, which most of it is on that main lighting circuit. I knew a board is going in anyway. Um, it's going to be a new RCB I'm consuming it, I'll, I'll quote for. Whether I'll get it or not, I don't know. Now, I'm not saying I use this every single day. And there are cheaper ones. I mean, fuck ones that are really, really expensive. And there are cheaper ones than this. But on EICRs or fault finding and, um, or, you know, if you, like a pre-board check, just bosh that around the tails and it gives you an idea and you turn off the MCBs one by one. If you've got a high read and you can kind of, it gives you an indication. You've still got to do the legwork and, you know, find out why the, there might be a considerable amount of leakage. Most of the time it's a, uh, some, a load of some sort. But yeah, get yourself one of these if you haven't already got one or a cheaper one. Like, I've got no links with anyone, but um, it's just a really handy bit of kit. And I use it on every EICR, even if they have got RCBOs, just to check out of interest the, the leakage and stuff. It's a handy little thing. Now that's probably the closest I've ever been to a board change. Right, I'm just replacing this board. I did the EICR uh, the other day and I'm just upgrading the board. As you can tell, I'm almost there. I've got one, two, three, four, five more circuits to go. Uh, and then we'll be able to power up and get our RCD tests. Um, yeah. I'm trying to meet him, I'm trying to meet him.